And what challenges does that present a defense attorney? Mr. Walsh? The challenge for the defense attorney is that... You were saying? Right. Um, the challenge is that sometimes the police only look at loved ones when trying to find a suspect. Annalise wants you to trick their lawyer into making a mistake in court Oliver. so that she can then swoop in and represent the two crazies who tied up and shot their hey. parents in cold blood. You know they did it, right? I mean, they claimed they didn't hear anything, but they were inside the house at the time of the murder. Look up, damn it. <laughs> Connor. No. We have to wait. Yeah, for sex sex, but we can do other stuff. I can't. Well, can you at least help a brother out? Oh, so this wasn't about us at all. This was about you getting off. And here I was so generously trying to help you do your job. My job's a train wreck right now, and yes, I admit it. My penis is really craving an orgasm. I'm you don't sorry. get it. I'm not going to be able to enjoy any sex if I'm worried I'm putting you in danger. I'm on prep. You have two more weeks before it works. Not to mention, you can't know for sure if you really want this. By this, do you mean you? Because I do know that. Look, I'm not gonna leave you just because of something that's not that big of a deal anymore. It is a big deal. Okay, maybe... Maybe not for you. But for me, it's a big deal. I'm sorry. I just... I really want to be here. More than anything. Even if that means being celibate for 14 more days. Or well, 13 days. You took your first pill at 9.30 last Sunday, so technically it's 13 days from now, not 14. I don't understand. I'm moving in. What? I never said that you You're could... worried how serious I am about us. Well, here's how serious I am. Because right now, you are the only part of my day that I look forward to. Yeah, but, uh... Ollie, it's done. Okay, I'm already subletting my place. So, deal with it. We are officially a boring, domesticated, cohabitating couple. Don't answer it. It's my analyst from time. Oh, God, answer it. Hello? I'd kill you. Why are we killing each other? Uh, Oliver is HIV positive. And Laurel was just saying that she would kill me if I had sex with him before my prep kicks in. Wait. He has HIV and you're gonna have sex with him? Yes. Lots of sex. Dude, no. Look, I, I get the old man probably has a really sweet ass and all, but you could, like, die. Who wants coffee? So it worked. Playing the puppy. It always works. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, Oliver. What are so you doing here? Oh, so many questions Ow. from so many different people. Oliver. Hey, I'm Asher. I'm sure the Sea Dogs told you all about me. I'm his uh, straight bro who's totally down with all your gay stuff. Right. Hey, hold up, man. Good. Asher. And I just want to uh, say that talking. I have all the respect in the world for what you're dealing with, and Philadelphia is one of my favorite movies. And I just, I think you're really brave, man. Like. Oliver. I hate you. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't explain why you tell strangers something. I haven't even told my parents Look, I'm yet. I'm saying it's not 1995. You don't need to be ashamed. Oh, apparently I do, according to your bro who thinks I'm dying. Asher is an idiot. No, you're the idiot because you told him. It's hard to explain, but everyone in there, we know a lot about each other, even the really bad things. Oh, yeah, like I, the fact no, that I'm positive. I, I didn't... That came out wrong. Not everything is coming out of your mouth wrong. What's next? You want to finally ask how I got it? Because no, you know, I don't if, if, if I'm being really honest, you should be happy I haven't told you. That's how different we are. I keep my mouth shut about things that'll hurt you. What do you mean hurt me? Doesn't matter. Just here you go. Keys to our apartment. But don't feel like you have to be in a rush to use them. If Eve argued Nate's fingerprint was transferred, couldn't we do the same and say the police transferred Caleb's DNA to the crime scene? Welcome to the Philly PD database. It's that easy to hack into? Yep. I'm surprised my blabbermouth boyfriend hasn't told you already. I am so sorry about that. 
Asher's a jackass. That's what I said. Hey, buddy. You're not allowed to talk right now. Consider it practice for keeping your mouth shut. Sorry about your fiance. Oh, did Connor open up his big mouth about that too? <laughs> yep, said he was maybe bi or something. Let's not talk about it. No, let's. Let's talk about how you have terrible taste in men. I mean, like that guy at the courthouse today, how do you say no to that? Uh, he wasn't my type. What's your type, gay? <laughs> I'm with Oliver. You don't get to talk anymore. Well, speaking from experience, I say go out on the date. I mean, look at me, I never thought I'd end up with a self-absorbed pretty boy. Oh, wow. What? The police ran two DNA tests on the aunt's crime scene. Why were there in two tests? Here's what's fair. I hurt you and I hate myself for that. And the only way I see us getting past this is if you hurt me back. Like punch you or something? Tell me how you got it. It doesn't matter. It's what I deserve, Oliver. Like you said. Do it. Hurt me. I can take it. I was a mess after you cheated on me. Like, I didn't get out of bed for a week. Just kept Googling that guy you hooked up with and staring at his abs. My friends forced me to go out. Get laid, they said. Rebound the pain away. So I went to this bar, did shots, many, many shots, and I ended up going home with some guy. Barely remember anything. Like, if I saw him on the street, I wouldn't even recognize him, so... Yeah, that's the long, sad, cliche story of how I got it. Because I cheated on you. Well, no, not really. It was my bad decision. You know, that you made because of me. It's my fault. Is this like a mea culpa breakfast? Because I'll say it over and over until you finally hear me. You didn't give me HIV. This isn't an apology breakfast. This is a celebration breakfast. Because today marks day 20 of Operation Prep, which means only one more day. Until D-Day. The D stands for... I know what the D stands for. Yeah. It's a miracle we made it 21 days. I can't wait any longer. On your stomach, I'll get to lose. Wait. I, uh, I have to tell you something. Okay, you're scaring me. It's, it's... It's nothing bad. I just... I met this girl through work who invited me to a sex party, so I went. How is that just, not just bad? Why? So I can hear your lame excuses? I didn't hook up with anyone, Ollie. I didn't even want to. You can ask Michaela. She was there. She'll tell you that that was good. For once, I, I was good. <laughs> what? I mean, even I probably would have had sex at a sex party. It's a real guy. Yeah. You've changed. Yeah, because of, of you. You know what? Lie on your back. Why? I want to look in your eyes. Hey, do you think Annalise would ever pay me? I mean, I do all this work for her for free. You don't want to work for Annalise. Trust your boyfriend on that one. Bathroom? That's through the bedroom. Man, I hack into the police department like every other week for you guys. Not that I mind it, but I should probably get paid if I'm risking jail time. I might be going to jail, Oliver. <laughs> Very funny. I'm not kidding. Uh, what for? I can't, I can't say. Well, Connor. Like, I wish I could. I do. But it, you'd get in trouble. So this isn't just about the hacking. Okay, this is so mean. I know. Just...
just know that meeting you and everything that we have, it's everything. I mean, you mean everything. I love you, Ali. So, did we find the rest of the video? Uh, no. No, but, um, getting closer. What is this? Ah, oh, it's a list of bad things you could have done. I know you said you couldn't tell me, which I totally appreciate. Terrorism? See? It'll be easy. We can strike that. I'm not right? a terrorist, Ollie. Great. Let's cross off number two. Pedophilia. Uh, look, what I did wasn't actually that bad. You said you could go to jail for it. Which was an exaggeration. Look, let's go this way and... Hey, make use of the ten minutes I have before I have to go to work. <sighs> This is very manipulative of uh, you. Uh, this is very manipulative of me. <laughs> For the record, I hate this. We heard you. Now let my boyfriend hack the orphanage. It's an adoption agency, not an orphanage. There's a difference. Whoa, this is weird. Uh, I ran a password attack on their system using a brute force algorithm called Snake Less Link. Less nerd, more information. Uh, here, this file lists an adoption under the last name Hapstall. Catherine or Caleb? Neither. It's under Helena Hapston. When the police came the next morning, I knew they'd done it. The racist. She's the birth mother. What? Of who? A baby boy. So I did something bad, too. No, it's, it's not terrorism or pedophilia bad, but something that might put me in jail with you when you're finally caught for whatever bad thing you did. What did you do? I kept searching for the secret baby, even though he told me not to. What? His name's Philip Jessup, a 26-year-old white male who lives two miles away from the Hapstone oh, mansion. It gets worse. I... I hacked into his computer. Are you insane? I mean, this guy is probably the killer. I know. It's scary, right? But, like, in a fun way. No, not in a fun way. This, he could be a serial killer or a, a cannibal or... Okay, Annalise will be happy that we I don't him. care about making Annalise happy. I care about making sure you don't get in trouble for all this crap that we did. No one's gonna know. This is my fault. I shouldn't have been involved to you. Look, just turn it off, okay? Just make it stop. Look, Caleb's calling. Now, why does Caleb have your number? I gave it to him when I was... Prepping him for trial. I mean, prepping him for that, I answer it. So well, I have to pretend like we haven't found their killer cousin? Not happening. You're no fun. There he is. Hey, uh, good news. Philip was in town the night of the murders. What's going on? How do you know? He posted to Reddit that night, and his IP address puts him in the city. Nice. Won't one of you explain right now? I asked your boo to help us out on the hacking angle. When? Today. I, I texted you. Where should I set up? On the couch. Take whatever space you need. It's... What the hell? Relax. It's not my type. You lied. You did not text me. Because I knew you'd say not to come. For your own good. You're putting yourself in danger. If I'm in danger, then so are you. And guess what? I'm a big boy. I can make my own decisions. Besides, everything you guys get to do in this house is way more fun than my boring ass IT job. Please just take this seriously, man. No. I've made up my mind I'm not leaving. So stop being such a buzzkill. What? Look, this report, it shows the police found DNA at the Hapstall crime scene that doesn't match anyone that lives or works at the mansion. Sinclair probably filed it in the wrong folder so they wouldn't find it. Friggin' mystery DNA. Yeah, if it matches Philip, it puts him at the murder scene. We can sneak into his house, get a sample. We're not breaking into our suspect's house. Phew, that sounded scary. Who are you? Um, Oliver? It's an honor to meet you, Mrs. Professor Keating. Mrs. Keating. You're the man that's constantly saving our asses. It's nothing, really. I just... No, oh, it's something to me. Thank you for your hard work. She's so much nicer than you said. <laughs> this can't be real. Up Asher and Trotter Lake, and this is what came up. What are you doing? <laughs> Watching you try to rap. This is a prank, right? Yeah, you right. didn't want to make this? Please, it's just a stupid thing I made in college. <laughs> An expensive stupid thing. Seriously, how much did Daddy pay for that? Doesn't matter, and I hate you, Oliver, for finding it. Turn it off. I said, turn it off.
Don't make me be Annalise and yell at you to do your jobs. Hey. You think you could find a prosecutor's address for me? Uh, I got spanked. By who? Uh, I'm on Dude for Dude. Philip has an online profile closet case, obviously, so I made one, too. You lost it. Hey, we can buy him on a coffee date and get his DNA from the coffee cup. Oh, my God, you are one of us N now. No, he's not, and you're not going on a coffee date with a serial killer. Okay, okay, fine, but um, what about you? I used your pick. You're much hotter than me. Enough yes. with the low self-esteem. Seriously, I'd spank you before Walsh. W what's going on with you? Honestly. Because you've gone too far here. Which is exactly what Annalise would want us to do to win our case. Frank, this is a good plan, no, right? No, it's not, and I'm not going anywhere near the guy. You have to. This is the only thing that can get Catherine and Caleb off. I don't care about your boyfriend! I'll do it. I, I can say that I used some random guy's pick because of my low self-esteem. It's not You would do that? No. You're not doing it. You hear me? You don't get to act crazy anymore. What if I want to? a good idea how is it not because he could get caught or dragged into the bathroom where this weirdo could torture and kill him maybe he's just gonna have a cup of coffee with the guy it's a stakeout it's sexy oh my god is that him i'll be right back where the hell are you going Hey, there's a bus station just across the street. Hey. Give me snipers. Pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up, pick up. Oh, oh. Sorry. You eat too much sugar. I think it's beginning to affect your judgment. What the hell were you thinking? Get him out of there! Relax, I got eyes on him. You're an idiot. You need to shut it down right now. But we... Right now! Or else I'll call the police myself! You tattle. What? It's over. What? Got ratted out. Let's go. I don't need no teacher. You come on my turf and be like, bye for the shot, bye for the shot, bye for the shot. I know how it works. We be like, bye for the shot. I don't need no teacher. You come on my turf and be like, Hi, Oliver. Oh. How's your night going? You're here. Because you know where I live. Don't touch that. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm sorry we catfished you. It's just because I, I think you're really cute. And we really wanted to meet you. We meeting me and my boyfriend, Connor. And now I told you his real name. That's fine, because uh, we like you. And we've really been actually looking to have a, a threesome. And just please, don't kill me. Please. No. I don't want to kill you. Ollie, 
Are you here? Oliver's gone. That's why you'll never be a lawyer. You don't have basic common sense. You're mad at me, I get it, but we don't know if anything happened yet. We do, he's been kidnapped. Because you came home to some spilled milk on the floor. He left his phone. Maybe he went off to cheat on you with some other guy. Frank, I don't understand why we aren't calling the police. Police are already here. Nate's not involved in this. Why not? Let's film in. Mr. Walsh. He illegally hacked some guy who's a suspect on our other case, and, and he found out, and now he's kidnapped my boyfriend. You should go. No, it's okay. I can't have you involved in this. I'm already involved. Maybe I can help. Of course you can help. You can call the police station. No, he's only been gone for an hour. And it only takes so... a second to kill someone, Laurel. Connor, you're scared. I understand that. But Oliver needs for you to keep your head on straight right now. Can you do that? He shouldn't have even been involved. But Frank forced him to come. Actually, Oliver seemed quite happy to help us. He doesn't know any better. He's not like us. He doesn't do this all the time. If anything happens to a woman, it's on you. Why can't we find him on our own? How? I don't know. Sinclair already wants to take us all down. If we go to the police, it's going to give her exactly what she no, needs. No, no. We are not doing this Calm again. Down, takes we are talking about a violent killer who wants to make him into a skin suit. Stop! Call it in. Annalise, wait. I'll figure a house. way out of this, like always. Call them. Hey, Officer Leahy, 15th Precinct, I'm off duty. I got a potential missing person situation. Hey, guys. Where the hell have you been? Oh, uh, I was with Philip. Call you back. Hi, uh, I'm Philip. Philip stopped by. And, well, he wanted to talk, so I suggested we go across the street to the Soup Palace. Um, I tried to explain a little bit about everything, the Habstall case, but since I don't really know that much, like I told him, I suggested we come here. This has all been a giant misunderstanding. Don't lie. I have a security alert for hackers. Sometimes gamers try to steal my conquest points because I have so many. <laughs> World of Warcraft. That's why I made the profile on the gay side. I'm not, by the way, a gay. I only did that after I saw you guys hacked me. And Oliver told me why. You think I'm related to those rich people, right? My birth parents are Jim and Joan Meyerfield. They live in Iowa. I haven't met them, but the adoption agency gave me their names a few years ago, and... Uh... I know that I'm weird. People have always called me that, but... I, I stick to myself, and I don't bother anyone. I'm not someone who could do that. Kill someone? You're wrong about me. You're right. I'm sorry. It's my fault. All of it. Then if you need to blame someone, just blame me. I already do blame you. What you did was illegal, especially since you're a lawyer, so I have to go to the cops, or at least find someone to sue you. What do you want? Tell me, and we'll see what we can do. I don't know yet. Cyber stalking, harassment, invasion of privacy, and that's just Oliver. But that's all they need to start going in on me. Let me stay on Philip, see what he does. So he can screw up again? No, I don't want you anywhere near this. I'll tell him. Stop it. I can't I'd have like to you. I got off. What else am I gonna do? Go get your computer. Why? So that we can destroy it before Boo Radley goes to the police. He might not go to the police. Mm, of course he is. Not if he's the killer. He knows that they'll start looking into him. Taylor, what are you doing? He was sitting right there. If we find a strand of hair, we can test it for his DNA, see if he's lying about his birth parents. I'll go get some tape, see if he left any skin cells. Guys. Yes. 
Won't this work instead? He drank like four Cokes at the Sioux Palace. Do it. There's still some stuff I need to save on here. Okay, I will do a whole naked pig session for you tomorrow. But maybe Laurel's right. Maybe Philip won't go to the, the police. What is wrong with you? This is serious, Oliver. Like, end of life as you know it, serious. Okay, you're being a little dramatic. Oh, you think? <clears throat> I feel better. Do you... Why do I feel like I'm actually getting kidnapped this time? I've just been thinking. You clearly feel the need for more thrills in your life. So this is that. Welcome to criminal law. So are you going to give me a lecture or something? No, but I am going to teach you a lesson. What was that? Uh, probably the janitor. Oh. Well, let's give him a show. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I don't want to. We're here all the time. Our fingerprints should be on everything. Doesn't matter anyway. This won't work. You're right. It won't work. Unless we do something to make them believe it. What are you doing? Who are you calling? Help. I've been shot. This is Annalise Keating. And my client, Catherine Hepps, knows she shot me. I'm here at her house. The ADA is here, too. Please hurry. Now it'll work. We have an ADW at 536 Charter Lane. Reporting party has been shot. I repeat, RP has been shot. EMS is en route. All units follow. Shoot me. No. I'm the woman who ruined your life and I'll ruin Oliver's too. You've lost your mind. The only computer hacking, falsifying records in that face. The friends he'd make behind bars. You don't go near it. Taylor's gonna shoot me! I hate you so much. 